Look at you. Just look at you. So eager to move on. Well, let's do it. Let's start mod installation part one. Uh, before we get into the meat and potatoes, let's go over a few things real quick. It's going to be real quick. Mod installation advice. It's here. Don't run loot unless otherwise specified. Um, inst inst installing habits like main files will be installed as uh, separate mods. Update files will be merged into main files. Mods, main mods, main files, option update files will be merged into main files. Optional files and miscellaneous files will be installed as a separate mod. Uh, don't worry, I will show you in practice. Um, this is uh, the basic thing we're going to follow, but there will be times where, where we'll be instructed to deviate from this best practices. A note on extracting BSA. This is something that we got to set mod organizer to right now, so. Uh, let's click on the wrench and spanner. That's right, this right here. Click on plugins right here. Find and select BSA extractor plugin. All right, where are you? There it is right there. Towards the bottom, look for plugin, BSA extractor. And on the right, make sure only alternative sources option is set to false. So double, so double click this, set it to false, kaboom. All right. At this point, you will receive a notification during installation for any mod that includes a BSA, asking if you want to extract it. If their instructions tell you to do so, click yes. Otherwise, click no. Don't worry, I will show you guys uh, what to do as we go along. All right, the mods that require BSA extraction will show this tag, extract the BSA. All right, so we can go ahead and click OK here. Very good. A note on converting old plugins. This is basically telling you how to do it. Uh, some mods that we're going to be installing is going to be for Legendary Edition. And the plugin is going to be in Form 43, which could be bad for Special Edition. And we're going to use the Creation Kit to uh, convert that. Don't worry. Very simple process. When the time comes, I'll show you what to do. After converting it, we're going to open an SSE Edit, check for errors, sort masters, and then we're going to uh, uh, clean it with a quick auto clean. Very easy. When the time comes, I'll show you how to do it. A note on uh, cathedral, cathedral Asset Optimizer. This is basically telling you how to run it. Uh, once again, when the time comes, I'll show you how to do it. And with that said, let's start installing some mods. I'm excited. I know you're excited. So let's do this. First up, Optimize Texture Baseline. So what I want to do is I want to copy this here. And this is for organizational purposes, for uh, Saving our eyeballs from too much strain later on when our mod list grows huge. We're going to be installing over 700 mods, man. I don't know the exact number, but it's way over 700. So uh, click on the tiny branch spanner here. Click on uh, Create Separator and paste in that optimized texture baseline. Bam! So now we're going to move on. We're going to install Skyrim Realistic uh, Overhaul. Skyrim Realistic overall contains 10 gigabytes of high quality uh, 2K and 4K textures. It drastically increases quality while keeping artistic look of original textures. Uh, this is going to be uh, used as a baseline. So we're going to install this and then we're going to install loads of different texture overhauls on top of this. Okay, so uh, speaking of deviating from um, this, where is it? Where are you? Right here. The main files, update files, the best practices or whatever. Uh, the very first thing we're installing is going to deviate from that because we're instructed to do, do, to do so. Even though these are all main files, we're going to install all of these in um, Skyrim Realistic Overhaul. And I will show you how to do that. But first, let's download these mods. So click on download here. Over here, Skyrim Realistic Overhaul. Let's click on files. And here they are. Let's download them in order. These are big uh, downloads, so it could take a good bit depending on how fast, you, uh, how fast your internet is. So click on part one. Download now. Should start automatically. Has it started yet? No, it hasn't. I'm so impatient. All right, now it started. There we go. The first file is 2.6 gigs. Okay. So now go back. Bloop. Now let's do part two. Download. Wait for it to start downloading. There it is. Close that window. Go back. Part three. Download. Wait for it to start downloading. Uh, there we go. Close that. Go back one. Now we're going to download the uh, update. Download. Wait for it to start downloading. All right. Save the file. Hmm, I don't know why it's asking uh, that time. It just started right away. 
Uh, I'm pretty blessed that I live in an area that has Google Fiber. So my downloads are pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna wait for those to download before we move on. Okay, so I see from my download list that part one and two is already done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start installing. So these are mods that we downloaded outside of the Nexus, which means that we're gonna have to use this fancy button up here, install a new mod from an archive. So first, before I do that, I'm gonna highlight this and copy that because that's what we're gonna call this, copy. Skyrim realistic overall, then click this button. And mine's already pointed at my downloads folder. You may need to redirect yours and locate part one. There's part one, open. Now here, highlight over and press paste because we want to name all of them Skyrim Realistic Overall. It's going to install all into the same mod or the same folder, you'll see. Okay. And this could take a while, depending on how beefy your CPU is. Because it's got to unzip them files. Alright, when that's done, lo and behold, we got this right here. Skyrim Realistic Overall. Excellent. Alright, let's install part two. Click on the magic button. Locate part two. Open. And now highlight this, paste, and hit OK. And it's asking, this mod seems to be installed already. What would you like to do? We want to merge it. Do not replace, do not rename. Merge. <laughs> I sound so serious, like, merge. And with that done, let's install part three. Part three, open. Paste. Boom. Skyrim realistic overall. Okay. Merge. Yeah, this is why modding can be fun. Even though this takes a while for these big mods, big files like this, you could have like a new TV show on and maybe some snackage and something tasty to drink. All right, that was nice and quick. So the final part, we're going to install 1.8 update. Open. Don't forget to paste the new name. Skyrim Realistic Overhaul. Okay. Merge. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and run Skyrim Realistic Overhaul through Cathedral uh, Assets Optimizer. And this is how you do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to close Mod Organizer. Go into our Mod folder. Go into Cathedral Assets Optimizer. Run Cathedral Assets Optimizer.exe. All right, in the profile, go down. We're going to choose Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn SE, no BSA. Open up your directory, and we're going to go into your mod folder. Mine is in the root directory of my C drive. Go into Mod Organizer 2. Go into Mods. Uh, click on Skyrim Realistic Overall. Select Folder. And then basically click run. But I like to click on log because I like to see uh, what's happening. So go ahead and click run and let it do its thing. It shouldn't take too long. All right, after that, you can go ahead and close out Cathedral Asset Optimizer. And that's it, you're done. So you can go ahead and close this out, open up and, and get back into Mod Organizer 2. Okay, so with that done, we can just go ahead and activate it. That mod is done. But if you want a damn OCD types, you can see that it has a date here, not a version number. You can see the version right here. It's version 1.8. Do you remember how to change that? Do you? Well, if you don't, this is how you do it. Uh, double click on these. Go into Nexus Info. For version, put in 1.8. Boom. Mod ID, put negative 1. And then if you want some categories, this is obviously what? Textures? So let's find textures here. If there has the texture. Yeah, models and textures. Bam. And hit close. And there you go. If I remember to do it, I'll do it, but honestly, I don't care. So I'll probably, I may forget on future mods, but if you care, you know, you know how to do it. All right. I'm going to end the video there. Pretty short and sweet only because I want to, I want to keep that by itself. And uh, next uh, video, maybe series of videos, we're going to be doing Essentials SKS and SKSE plugins. And I want to keep that separate from Optimized Texture Baseline. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video.